couple months ago, me and this other guy, we would get loaded at the same place. We work for different companies. You know, he's leased to one company, I'm leased to the other co- a different company. And we would load out of the same place and go to the same, uh, the same uh, uh, cold storage warehouse. So I run a reefer, refrigerator. And, you know, we were talking. I'll tell you how I met this guy. I put, he was in the door. I, I, he's in the, in the door. I pulled up and went to the office, to the, uh, the shipping office. And he said, uh, they said, yeah, well, when so-and-so comes out, you know, door, I don't think it was door six or whatever. When he comes out, you can go in there. I said, all right. So I, I went out. I walked out. So he was outside of his truck doing something. And I said, hey, man, hurry up. I need that door. And he's looking at me all crazy. I was like, I'm just playing. So so he was, you know, after that, he was my best friend. You know, we talked all the time. So he, uh, he asked me. So, you know, after running up and down Interstate 80, up and down the mountains and everything, and he goes, he asked me, he says, uh, he says, what year is that truck? I says, in 1990. He said, wow. I said, yeah, man. I mean, I, I buy inexpensive, uh, inexpensive equipment. You know, that works for me. And his truck is a newer one. It has a, it has the def. You have to put def in it. So it, it's fairly new. So, uh, don't be scared of buying these old, old, old trucks, man. These old, these old iron, uh, cause they will get the job done just as well as, you know, a newer truck. Um, No, maintenance is not different on an older truck. It it is, but it isn't. Uh, the parts are more readily available. You don't need to take an old truck to a a dealership to get it worked on. If you buy it old enough, there are no electronics to plug into. And I mean, they, they, if you, as long as you change the oil, keep the oil change and, and, uh, and the rears and the transmission, everything, man, these things will run forever. I got, um, probably at least there's probably now after talking to, to, uh, people that, that known the truck, cause it's, you know, it's, it's a known truck in, in the area where I live in and it has well over 2 million miles on it, you know, on the truck itself. Uh, a lot of parts have been changed out. And, um, I mean, it's a great running truck. And the guy that used to, the guy that originally bought it, he used to pull potatoes um, out of, uh, well, all over the place. He used to pull potatoes, so... The truck was made, it, it's a running truck. I'll just leave it at that. So, you can find these deals. I said deals. In your local, you know, in your local area. You don't have to go out to, you know, these companies like, uh, just one off the top of my head, like Lone Mountain. You don't have to go over there and, you know, pay all these, you know, exorbitant fees and, and stuff like that to get you in the truck that, you know, that's, you know, if you're just starting out, it's, it's way too much money. Um, and you know, with the older truck, you can work on it yourself. You know, I mean, it's not rocket science. I mean, it's just, I mean, some parts that you may not be able to change because they're so big and, uh, you may not have the, the tools readily available to do the job, but you know, over time, you know, you start buying, you know, tools and, and stuff like that, then, you know, you can do everything on your own. But don't be scared of old equipment. Um, just don't be scared of it, man. I mean, there's there's some great trucks out there, older model trucks in the 90s. And, you know, they're just ready to be snatched up. The guy, These guys are retiring. And a lot of these guys are in their 60s and 70s. They're retiring. Go cut a deal. 